But we had Professor Sunetra uh, Gupta from Oxford University on, and she was implying, and I'm interested in you because you have a global mandate, a global view, was that a problem we don't think about in lockdowns is that they're very nationalistic. That if we lock down our economy, then it hits our economy. But it also means we are not buying stuff. We're not trading with weaker economies. We are not just destroying our own jobs. We're destroying the jobs of all those that in the poorer parts of the world that export to us. That seemed to me to be a reasonable point. Really important point by Professor Gupta. I want to say it again. Uh, we in the World Health Organization do not advocate lockdowns as a primary means of control of this virus. The only time we believe a lockdown is justified is to buy you time to reorganize, regroup, rebalance your resources, protect your health workers who are exhausted. But by and large, we'd rather not do it. Just look at what's happened to the tourism industry, for example, in the Caribbean or in the Pacific, because people aren't taking their holidays. Look what's happened to smallholder farmers all over the world because their markets have got dented. Look what's happening to poverty levels. It seems that we may well have a doubling of world poverty by next year. We may well have at least a doubling of child malnutrition because children are not getting meals at school and their parents in poor families are not able to afford it. This is a terrible, ghastly global uh, catastrophe, actually. And so we really do appeal to all world leaders Stop using lockdown as your primary control method. Develop better systems for doing it. Work together and learn from each other. Mm. But remember, lockdowns just have one consequence that you must never, ever uh, belittle, and that is making poor people an awful lot poorer.